friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Saturday, it is Saturday, so it's grocery haul day. This week I shopped at two stores. I have a ton of new food finds, such good recipes planned for the week. So if you're excited, give this video a big huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell's turned on because we do a grocery haul every Saturday and I upload videos five days a week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. I highly recommend this. This is the contributing factor to how I've lost over 100 and 20 pounds. And if you need accountability, I have one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. Links, discounts to all my favorite things and my Facebook group. It's free to join. Come and join us. We'd love to have you are all down in that description box. So let's jump into the grocery haul. What's on my menu for dinners and what you'll be seeing in Monday's meal prep. Here's my grocery haul for this week. I went to Sprouts. And then I went to Fry's, which is a Kroger store. I have some new food finds I'm really excited to share with you, not to mention some really good recipes coming your way in meal prep. So let's jump into the grocery haul. No surprise, I picked up some more of the little mini Persian cucumbers. I love these, they're such a great crunchy snack. I also grabbed the biggest pack of the pulled chicken that I could find. For my meal prep, I need shredded chicken, and this is just going to make my life so much easier than having to cook the chicken and shred it myself. It's all white chicken, so it's zero points on WW. Two packages of strawberries. These one pound packages were 99 cents. That's an amazing deal. I need strawberries for my meal prep, and then of course just for fruit for the week. And I also grabbed three packs of blueberries because they were three for $5. Also. A really good deal. I saw this and was intrigued by it. This is from the brand Lesser Evil. It's organic popcorn and this one is lemonade flavor. It just sounds really good. It says made with real fruit, organic coconut oil, and Himalayan pink sea salt. So I'm really excited to have this. It has 120 calories per serving and it's a nice form of whole grains. For Greek yogurt this week I went with Siggy's only because it has nice clean ingredients and I've been loving my little yogurt bowl that I shared with you in this Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. If you missed it, I'll link that video down below for you, but that's been one of my favorite post workout breakfast. So I grabbed the Siggy's. It has a 19 grams of protein. I also picked this up. I thought this would be just a little bit of a change of pace. It's from the brand Purely Elizabeth. This is the organic apple cinnamon pecan super food oatmeal with oats, flax, and chia. And it's 160 calories for one third of a cup. It has five grams of protein. And I thought that this would be a really good breakfast, especially as it gets a little bit cooler out. And I just love a good flavored oatmeal. And this one has nice clean ingredients. I I also grabbed one of the Vermont uncured pepperoni sticks. I actually thought that I would eat this while I was out shopping and then I ended up not eating it while I was out shopping. So I'll just throw it in the cabinet for a snack for the week. And then of course produce, my favorite produce comes from Sprouts. I grabbed some bananas. This is for my meal prep and I love to put a frozen, half of a frozen banana in my protein shakes. A green and red bell pepper, some aroma tomatoes, and a fresh lime. So that's everything from Sprouts. Let's jump over to Kroger or Fry's. First thing is a can of crushed pineapple for my meal prep, and then whatever's left over, I love pineapple on cottage cheese, so I'll use up the leftovers for that. I mean, we had to get these because the pumpkin spice pumpkin things are coming out in the stores, so I'm really excited to make these later today. I'm just gonna pop them in the oven. They're 90 calories per cookie, which is not bad at all. Sour cream, I just went ahead and picked up Good Culture. Again, the ingredients are really, really good. This is full fat sour cream. This is what I prefer. I just use a little bit less of it. A big can of jumbo biscuits. This is for my breakfast meal prep. Stay tuned after the grocery haul for what's on my menu for dinner and meal prep. I as always, super excited for Monday's meal prep recipes. Not one, but two, cottage cheese. I've been loving cottage cheese. It is such a great way to get in protein and the good culture, of course, my all-time favorite brand. Some stand and stuff taco shells. I wanna have a taco night this week. That's why I grabbed the tomatoes at Sprouts for the taco night. This little guy was on sale for $6.99. It's a little beef snack bites and cheese tray. I thought this would be really quick, easy snacks for us. It's already cubed up, cut up, ready to 
go. And it was $6.99 versus I think $10.99 or $11.99. I did grab some shredded green leaf lettuce for the tacos. I much prefer the shredded green leaf over just the iceberg lettuce. It just has more nutritional value. A couple of shredded cheeses. First from Private Selection, the aged cheddar blend. Full fat shredded cheese. This was a really good price. It has New York cheddar. Vermont cheddar and Wisconsin cheddar. And then I did grab some part skim mozzarella cheese as well. A packet of taco seasoning for taco night. And then I needed some country gravy mix for my meal prep for breakfast this next week. Pick these up only because they were a really good deal. This is the organic ground beef. It's a 91% lean ground beef, normally $8 a pound, and it was on sale for $4.49. Whenever I buy meat on sale, it usually expires within a few days, so I just throw it in my freezer, and then you can use it when you need it. I did grab a big pack of La Banderita carb counter tortillas. This is for my lunch meal prep, and then we always, always have tortillas on hand. Caramel rice cakes. There is a dessert recipe that I saw using American Dream Nut Butter, my favorite thing ever, and I want to test it out. I'll share it with you guys in next Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. So make sure you're subscribed and your bell's turned on so you don't miss this new dessert. I'm super excited about it. I did grab a gallon of 1% milk for Troy and then a big bag of the Jimmy Dean fully cooked turkey sausage crumbles. This is for my breakfast meal prep. Fair Life fat-free milk. Last week I had to buy 2% because they were out of fat-free at Walmart and I use this in my protein shakes. I love it because you get 13-ish grams of protein in one cup. All right, I have you propped up on my two things of cottage cheese and my can of biscuits, but I wanted to show you this super cute jacket. This is a Levi's denim jacket. I found this at Fry's the Kroger store on clearance for $17.99, so less than, so right about $18. It's so cute, I love the dark wash and the little bit of the acid washed look to it and you cannot beat that price. So that is my grocery haul for the week from both fries as well as sprouts. I'm really excited for my new food finds and of course all the recipes this next week. Let's go ahead and jump into what's on the menu for dinners and what you'll see Monday for meal prep. So here's what is on my menu for the week. So Saturday and Sunday I'm actually going out for dinner. We always go out Saturday and then Sunday I'm going out with my neighbor and some girls to a little show in Tucson. Monday is a Philly cheese steak skillet. Stay tuned for this recipe and Wednesday's what I eat in a day. Tuesday's going to be leftovers. Wednesday is meatloaf. Thursday, we're gonna do a taco night, and then Friday is going to be leftovers. And here's what you'll be seeing in Monday's meal prep. Stay tuned, you're not gonna wanna miss it. For breakfast, we're doing sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit casserole. I'm so excited for this. And then lunch, we're gonna do Hawaiian chicken barbecue tacos. And for a snack, strawberry oatmeal cookies. I've been craving oatmeal cookies, so I am just thrilled for all Three recipes, so stay tuned for Monday's meal prep. Thank you for joining me for this week's grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the good stuff that I picked up from Sprouts and from Fry's, a Kroger store. I had so much fun finding all these new things. I can't wait to try them all out. And if you enjoyed today's grocery haul, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because I upload a grocery haul every Saturday and five videos per week. Down in the description box, you'll find nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and my Facebook group. Group, come join us there. We'd love to have you. I hope you have an amazing Saturday, an amazing weekend, and I'll see you in tomorrow's part two of my weight loss and mean comment Q&A. You're not going to want to miss it. Have a good day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!